Yeah, I can't imagine a better way to spend your birthday than, than launching the space. So I'm, I'm sure there's others that have done so. I'm pretty excited about it. It's going to be great to watch the Crew 1 crew uh, come through that hatch. And we definitely welcome them on board because with more crew members, we can spend a lot more time doing scientific research and experiments. Uh, there's a certain amount of time we have to devote just to station maintenance, and with only one or two uh, U.S. And, and international partner crew members, it's hard to get all of the science done that we want to do on board station. So having all these extra crew members there means we can accomplish that much more scientifically. To continuing some of the work with the DNA sequencing uh, so we have some more plans to expand on that I think there's a lot of work that we can do looking at the microbiome of the space station uh, we do a lot of these kinds of projects down here on earth we call it microbiome of the built environment uh, and we've got this incredible built environment that's been off the planet for 20 years so I think it's a really unique opportunity uh, to look at the microbiome of, of this object in space and see how it changes over time Yeah, uh, never in my wildest dreams did I think I would actually uh, be in space 20 years ago. Uh, so I'm, I'm incredibly excited and just really honored to be part of the, the 20th anniversary uh, of the International Space Station. And NASA has a lot of things that are going to be going on uh, around that time. So start looking for that in October and, and certainly as we approach the anniversary in early November on the NASA.gov website, you'll see all of the various activities that we're celebrating this pretty historic occasion. I think with the pandemic, things are changing pretty rapidly. Um, I do think there's a lot of hope for uh, things in the vaccine world. We're seeing a lot with uh, therapeutics, for example, monoclonal antibodies. And so I, I think in six months, uh, we'll have made a lot of progress scientifically. I'm not sure that things will be completely back to normal. I think we might still be uh, practicing physical distancing and wearing masks, all these kinds of things. You add them together, and that's going to help us solve this pandemic. But I am. Looking forward, even from space, uh, I can get some scientific journals and read about the latest advances uh, that folks in laboratories on the Earth are, are coming up with to combat the coronavirus. Yeah, I think it's great. If, if kids are inspired by science, when you're, when you're thinking about your career, you want to pick something that you love. You don't want it to be a drag. You want a job that you wake up and you go to work and you think, I'm so excited to do this. I can't even believe they're paying me for it. And I think I think science and I think space fit those categories. Uh, when, when you wake up and you get a chance to work at NASA, you get a chance to be an engineer, work on uh, a vehicle that's going to fly to space, work in mission control, talk to astronauts that are on board the space station, design an experiment that is going to space. All these things are so incredibly exciting. And so I think if Kids are interested, get involved, get an internship at NASA, study in a laboratory, find out if there's a university in your area that will take high school students. There's so many things uh, that you can do, even, even as a young student, to get involved with space and with science. Yeah, um, I, I'm going to just lay my nerd cards out on the table. I'm bringing some pipettes. We are looking at... Uh, Multi-channel pipetting to see if that works. I've got some more scientific equipment. I did some experiments on pipetting uh, the last time, and we're going to try to do some more with the microbial sampling in my free time. Yeah, absolutely. Great to talk to you.